Welcome to the Hollis Academy. I'm your Airbnb host, Sharice Owens. So today, I'm gonna to answer the most commonly asked questions about Airbnb. So number one, do you need to have a mortgage first in order to have an Airbnb? The answer is no. You do not need a mortgage to obtain an Airbnb. Question number two, do you need to have an LLC? The answer is no. However, if you want to scale your business, yes, but it's not required. So number three, can I get more than one Airbnb in my name? Of course you can. You can have as many as Airbnbs in your name. However, it would be great to use your business name so that way you can use it as a tax write-off. <laughs> Number four, do you have to pay taxes? No, nope, 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 nope. The government want a piece of the pie. So they came out with permits and restrictions in some states. You receive all the state that require permits and their fees in the second week of taking my course right? So number five, what if a guest can't leave because they came down with COVID-19? It's called extenuating circumstances. The guests will have to follow the chain of command and contact their host, the Airbnb site, and their primary care doctor. They will have to quarantine for up to 14 days in your space. However, you will still get paid. Airbnb has $20,000 in donations just for incidents just like this. They also will help refugees who need a place to stay occupy your Airbnb. However, it is up to you to allow refugees to stay for a certain amount of time. If you want to learn more about Airbnb, Hollis Academy has a four-week course starting in a few weeks. All those who are interested, drop your email in my inbox. Monday, February 28th at 7 p.m., I'll be hosting a free orientation. I am the Airbnb host, Sharice Owens. See you soon.